In today's video, we'll be getting started with VYOS, which is the next generation firewall. And I already explained you all about it in a different video. I have provided the link in the description. There are various features available, routing, VPN, firewall and netting, network services, high availability and fully open source. Through command line, you can configure everything, it doesn't need much resources. And if you are a good network engineer, of course, it will give you full control. I'm already using this on my network right now. And I'll show you how to get started, how we can start installing it and how we can download different versions and on different machines. You can install it on your bare metal server. You can install it on your virtual machine. So if I go here to VYOS, I can simply click here on download and you can download free download, which is rolling release. It is 9th January 2024, 1.5 rolling is released. And this way you can, of course, download and get started. VYOS.io, it is available on almost all kind of platforms. For bare metal, then on virtualization platform, you can have pre-built virtual disk, Oracle virtual machine or Oracle Linux KVM or even for Proxmox. I have explained you that how you can use Proxmox disk without going through step-by-step -step installation wizard. You can simply download Proxmox file and you will just simply import that disk into your virtual machine and that's it. And then of course you can use on cloud, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, OpenStack. I'm using Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So it is already available on Oracle Cloud and you can get started with it in just a few clicks. But here I'll show you how to step-by-step -step download and install bare metal server or we can install it on virtual machine. So if you see here on virtualization platform, it has already shown you here for all the virtualization platform. And here it is giving you the information about Proxmox. I have provided the link in the description where I have explained you what is Proxmox and how to get started with Proxmox virtualization platform. So you can have VYOS as a router. You can use it for any kind of setup, any kind of environment at all your virtual networks or all your physical networks. You can start using VYOS as your router. So to get started, I'll click on download and here these are three different options available. One is the source code. You can build your own image and get started. With it. Otherwise, you can download the free rolling release since you can, of course, get started with the LTS versions here. If you have the subscription, you can log into support.vyos.io. So you can click on download and download LTS versions for long time support are available. You can download the ISO images for universal images for all platforms or you can download it for any of your virtualization environment. For Proxmox, we'll be using QEMU or KVM image. So we'll be installing using universal ISO and process is same for all. So we'll be downloading VYOS 1.3, 1.3.5. This is the latest release. So I'll be downloading this. All right, so download is completed now. Now you have two options. If you are installing it on bare metal servers, you will be using Balina Etcher. It will help you to make a bootable USB flash disk and you can boot your server with that disk. If I show you right now, I'm using PFSense and this is installed on Proxmox virtual environment. So you can use any bare metal or any server or even cloud to get started with the VYOS. But I'll be using Proxmox virtual environment. And here in Proxmox virtual environment, I was using PFSense as router and firewall, but I have stopped that. I'll be installing VYOS now. And before I install, I will need to upload the ISO image PVE. And here I'll be going to ISO image. And here you can see ISO image 1.5 rolling release was uploaded, but I'll be uploading VYOS 1.3.5, which is LTS long term support. And I'll upload this image. And in order to install, of course, it needs 64 bit CPU, 512 MB of RAM, and 1 GB of disk space. If you want to have optimal performance, so 1024 MB or 1 GB of RAM, and 4 GB of storage is required here. I'll be going here to create VM, and it will be VYOS tutorial. OS will be selecting the ISO image, which is, of course, available in local. And here I'll be choosing VYOS 1.3.5. Next. System, I'll choose it default settings here and disk will be fine. But the disk size I'll be using not G drive, which is my Google drive. I'll be using on local LVM and the disk size I'll be keeping 8 GB here. And now these are all the settings which are fine. You don't need to change anything. And RAM 1024 or 1 GB of RAM. And here on network, you can see right now one network is connected, but I'll be adding two networks. First of all, let me confirm this and finish. And my VM will be created now, which is 104. VYOS tutorial is there. And I'll be adding one more hardware, which will be network. And this time I'll be adding VMBR1. So I'll be having two network because it needs ETH0 and ETH1. 
ETH0 or NET0 or Ethernet0 will be used for my WAN interface and Ethernet1 will be used as my LAN interface. Traffic on the network will pass through this and I have explained you about Proxmox networking that how the PFSense was installed and instead of PFSense now I'm installing VYOS it will do the same operations the traffic will be passed through VYOS it will also work as a router it will also work as a firewall it will also work as a gateway and it will of course do netting and all of that so I'll explain you that step by step now my machine is ready to be started so I'll be starting it and we'll go to console here now you can see here it shows me live VYOS it will run live directly from CD VYOS is right now live from CD. It has not been yet installed. We'll be first of all logging in. Default user is VYOS and password is VYOS. And of course, you can do various operations here, but we'll be simply installing the image here. So of course, your live CD image will type in install image. It will be installed to local hard drive. I'll type yes. And here it shows me that it has detected the disk. If I terminate this process i'll show you lsblk and you can see here that sda is the 8 gb which is disk sr is the iso image so depending upon which system you have so you'll be able to see how many hard drives are there in the system and on which hard drive you want to install so in my case this is the hard drive or this is the virtual uh, hard disk inside my vm i'll be installing it on this so i'll do install image now it is asking me that do you want to continue i'll type in yes whether you want to choose auto so i'll be choosing auto so vyos image requires minimum of 2000 mb root which is 2 gb of root partition which is fine auto and now it found one disk which we have seen already sda is the disk which is 8 gb so i'll do install on sda enter this will destroy all the data in dev sda i'll say yes it's fine what is the boot partition that you want to create? Maybe I can go with 4000 MB out of 8 GB. I'll be using it later, maybe for backup or for any other purpose, but it needs 2 GB of storage. So you can name the image, of course, you can say it VYOS 1.3. So I will say SyncBricks VYOS 1.3.5. So this is the image name. And here copying the kernel and now it asks you whether you want to copy the uh, configuration so there is a default configuration so i'll just enter this it will use the default configuration here so enter the password for the administrator account so administrator account is vyos and what will be the password i'll be using my own password here and retype the password and that's it press enter all right so bootloader is now done so what we can do we type in reboot and now our VM will be restarted and now we'll be able to restart directly into our hard disk image. You can see here that this is SyncPrix VYOS 1.3.5 which was installed. So I can simply first of all shut down this and here in hardware I'll be just removing the CD now and you can see here the CD is removed. So we have two network cards. You need to go here to options and here in boot order boot order form from this disk is selected now i'll start this machine here and if you go to console you will notice here that it will start booting from the disk hard disk which is syncbricks image the image name that we gave by ourselves and press enter now vyos router open source firewall is loading directly from the hard disk and now we'll be ready to configure it. I'll just show you. Let it start. All right. So VYOS is installed. And if I go here, VYOS, my user ID and the password that I set up by myself. And here we go. Now the system is ready. VYOS is ready to be configured. I'll quickly show you one command and then I'll show you how we can configure. I'll be simply typing here configure and it will open in the configuration mode, clear the screen, and then of course you can start configuring it. If I type in show, it will show me all the configuration right now, which is set up. So it shows me ETH0 and ETH1. These are both the network interfaces right now. One I'll be using for external, one I'll be using for internal. And if I show you here in hardware, 
you will see the same here network for the external 09 and 19 so these are the mac addresses here and same will be available here also so 09 and 19 so this is vmbr0 and this is vmbr1 vmbr0 which is already connected to this particular network which is 100 the gateway address is 100.1 vmbr1 this is my internal network so this particular gateway is connected to the main internet and from there i am using this as my external network and this is being used as internal network same i have configured here in vyos tutorial also if you see two networks are added here vmbr0 and vmbr1 which is accordingly ethernet 0 and ethernet 1 so if i go here my configuration shows the same but right now configuration doesn't have anything we need to of course assign the ip address to ethernet 0 assign the uh, gateway to ethernet 0 whether it is gateway or not then we have to configure the routing and here i have to define my internal network and how the internal network dhcp will be configured and what will be the dhcp range and all of that and then of course i need to define the routing table i need to do the static routing also and at the same time i need to create the nat and then i need to create the firewall rule which will help me to allow the traffic from internal network to external network and then of course i need to also enable the ssh so some of the default configuration which is ntp servers you can of course change the ntp server also here in case you want to change it any configuration once you create you need to commit that configuration if you want to save it so you need to type in save so it will save the configuration into default configuration file and in case you want to see what changes you have made so you'll type in compare so it will show you no changes are made as of now in next video i'll show you how we can do that